Hello everybody. So this is butterfly week and as you know all of our butterflies came out of their pupas and their beautiful painted lady butterflies. So before um, we talk about butterflies we're gonna we're gonna go back and we're actually I'm gonna show you the life cycle of a butterfly again. So here I have first we have the egg Okay, so the butterflies lay the egg onto the leaves and then it becomes a caterpillar. Okay, and then when the very hungry caterpillar is all full, it forms a chrysalis. Okay, and then it hangs from a branch or in our case, we had a little container and it hung from the lid of the container. And then it wiggles its way out of the chrysalis or the pupa and it becomes a beautiful butterfly. And here is another way to show it. Okay, so here's the butterfly, then we have the egg, then we have the caterpillar, then we have the chrysalis, and then it becomes the beautiful butterfly. So that is called the life cycle of a butterfly. So we're gonna go um, want, uh, rewind back a little bit to caterpillars. So let's talk about some fun facts about caterpillars. So do you know what caterpillars like to eat? Now I know in the book it um, eats through chocolate cake and lollipops and um, all kinds of things like uh, oranges and plums and um, apples but there um, really are some um, truer facts about what they like to eat. And they are mostly herbivores, which means they like plant-based food. So like leaves, they basically like to eat leaves, um, but they also like to eat like the buds of a flower or the flower itself. Um, and some even like to eat the honeycomb inside the beehive so that's pretty interesting but that's only certain types of butterflies i guess and then they can actually ruin the beehive which is that's not so good um some eat grass or tree bark or twigs and some even eat ants like other insects um moss hair i don't know i think they pretty much eat anything actually they even eat each other sometimes. And I was afraid that might happen, but you know what? We have all seven, all seven of our caterpillars turned into seven beautiful butterflies. I'm so excited about that. So where do the bugs, or not the bugs, but where do the caterpillars live? Well, they like to hide from their predators. So you'll often find them underneath the leaves um, and you know, cause if they're underneath the leaves, then they're kind of hiding and sometimes they hide in grass and, um, what, what are the predators anyway? Predators are those that want to eat the caterpillars. So they, they want the caterpillars to be their food. What kinds of things are those things? Well, wasps like to eat caterpillars and birds like to eat them parasites and sometimes humans um, actually are their predators. I don't think humans eat them as much as they actually want to like get rid of them. Um, maybe poison them because there might be an invasion of caterpillars or something. So isn't that interesting? Um, I thought those things were interesting. So now we're going to talk about some fun facts about, you guessed it, the butterfly. Okay, so some of the um, things that the butterflies like to eat, and actually this doesn't have it on there, but they have a, um, I think it's called a pro, uh, how do you, proboscis, I think that's how they pronounce it. It looks like proboscis, but I think they pronounce it proboscis. And that's actually like a little, like a tube that comes out and it's sort of like a little straw and then they can drink from it but they actually taste with their feet 
like, what? Can you imagine if you were barefoot and you're walking around and you can taste everything on the floor? Ew. I don't know if I would want to taste everything um, from my feet. So anyway, they taste with their feet, but they drink with the proboscis. So do you know what they actually eat? They actually don't eat anything. They don't have teeth. But what they do is they can drink the nectar from flowers, from flower blooms. They can, um, they even drink from mud puddles. They can get some essential nutrients from mud puddles. Um, they drink from fruit juice. Like I put a slice of orange in our butterfly habitat and it is drinking the orange and loves it. So, um, so some of the facts in the Very Hungry Caterpillar story are true. Um, they don't actually eat through the orange or eat through the strawberries, but they will certainly um, suck up with their proboscis uh, the fruit juices. So that's interesting. Where do butterflies live? Well, they live all over the world and they live um, on mountain ranges and along coastlines and pretty much anywhere flowers grow, that's where butterflies are. So they don't live in Antarctica where it's really cold. In fact, butterflies can't even fly if it's 55 degrees or below. So it has to be 55 degrees or above for them to be able to fly and make their wings work. So we have to keep them warm. Right now, I have them out in the um, warm sun and I thought we would go and take a look. Um, I think I pretty much said everything I know that you would be interested in about the butterfly. So let's go and take a look at our butterflies out in the sun. Okay, so I turned, turned it around and it's really hard to see inside their mesh habitat and it's getting kind of icky in there. So I apologize, but they were fluttering around. Maybe if I move it just a little, you might be able to see some moving around. There, oh, there's one. They're actually drinking. Or there's one drinking from the um, orange down there. Oh goodness, this is really hard to see for me even, so. I don't know if you can see anything in there. Oh, look at that beautiful one right there. Do you see it on the flower? It's just resting right now. It probably thinks I'm going to try to hurt it. I'm not a predator butterfly. Okay, so I'll let them be and we'll get on with our lessons. Okay, so we're, excuse me. Do you have in your neighborhood all of the cottonwood that's flying around the air right now? <laughs> I think it is flying around outside here getting caught in my throat anyway so we are going to do math if you pull this out what you can do is um, write the number that matches the butterfly so right here is number five so you could write number five here here is number three you can write three here and two and one and eight so you can write all of the numbers to practice writing and then you can cut along the dotted line and cut out all of the butterflies and then you can glue them so number one would go and right here on number one so you can just um paste it right over the top of whatever it is that you wrote whatever number you wrote there okay so the next thing we have I think you'll like it it's the I spy game with the butterflies so it has this scene in it right here right here so parents there is a key on the back in case you can't find them all so you get to find some things in here. It's I spy. Um, so um, here, if you found however many of these you found, you cut these out and you paste the number right there. And same with all of these things here. So that should be a lot of fun, I hope. All right. 
now popcorn find and cover that's this one here so this is practicing your numbers okay um so you are going to choose one of these numbers here first okay and then make sure you have some beans or some coins like pennies or something handy so that you can cover up all the numbers so, so you should probably start with number one okay let's start with number one so find all the ones and cover them up and then you can choose number two and then find all the twos and cover them up and then you want to find each one, each number, and find them all here and cover them up, okay? One through six. So that should be a lot of fun. Okay, so what do we have next? Um, hmm, hmm, hmm. Well, we have... Let me um, pause this just for a minute so I can gather my thoughts here and I'll be right back. <laughs> now I know what it is that we were supposed to do. So remember a few weeks back, you had A, B, C, D, E, F that kind of looks like this. And then we had G, H, I, J, K, and I had paper dice for you. So what I would like you to do is review that. So if you do the same thing kind of with this and, and um, you can um, roll the dice though and whatever letter it lands on, then you can put the coins on that. But just do one side at a time, okay? Um, so this is um, just letter and number review this month. Um, and I put lots of things in past weeks, so it's okay to duplicate once in a while, right? It's hard to come up with new things all the time. But I put those um, resources in your pack a couple weeks ago, so if you can go back and find those, um, then you can um, do those. Um, I also have, um, for the pre-K students, this is sight words. This is all the sight words that we would have learned um, in the last couple of months. So if you, like this says me, I would like you to write the word me. You can just copy it right here in the bottom of the popcorn bucket. Okay, and then write letter I, but it's also the word I and the sight word A, N, and so on. So you just write those words in the bucket there. So I want you to read them and write them, okay? Practice um, those words so that you can begin to read. And then next, here is our new book called What's in Your Garden? So both Lil Tots and Pre-K has one of these books. Now I know I've been sending some of these books home with the Lil Tots. And I don't usually do that till the end of the year because they're maturing and um, they're hungry for just a little bit more. So that's why I've been combining both pre-K and little tots things, just kind of prepping them for their pre-K year. So now um, you go ahead and color your books. You can color your books. You can take time to do that or you can um, do it after we read it. You can pause it. Okay, so we are going to read What's in Your Garden together. Turn to the first page, to the page where there is grass, and there's little dots here that we're gonna follow along. So we're gonna get our reading finger, and we're gonna read together. I can see some green grass okay so by the way this is so we can review colors as well because this is a book of colors and a book um, about the garden okay all right reading finger here we go I can see some pink flowers And we're gonna come to the pot and you should color the pot purple. 
And please make sure to color each page according to whatever the color is. So maybe your parents can help you with that, okay? I can see a purple pot. Very good. All right, now we are going to come to the wheelbarrow page. Looks like this. Ready? Get your reading finger ready, and we're going to read and place our finger on the dots as we read each word. I can see an orange wheelbarrow. Okay, then we are going to turn the page to the beetle. Okay, reading finger ready. I can see a yellow beetle. And I don't know why, actually, it's a lot more fun if I would have read from this book because I colored it and I took the time to color it. I'm using somebody else's right now. So there's my yellow beetle. <laughs> okay. And reading finger. I can see a blue water can. Good job. Mom. Yes, sweetie. I have my granddaughter here with me. Yes? Why Charlie got a beetle? Charlie got a beetle mm -hmm. on his shoulder. Oh my goodness. Yeah, when we were camping. Oh my goodness. Okay, reading finger. I can see a brown worm. Isn't this book fun? I love the book about the insects, the garden, and all the colors. And we have the last page. I can see a red and black, you got it, ladybug. Isn't that fun? Oh, sorry, it is not the last page. We have one more page, and that is with the rainbow here, okay? All right, reading finger, I can see a rainbow. <laughs> Good reading. So keep practicing that. Okay, so I tried to get my granddaughters to act out like a, you know, a, the butterfly cycle. But she didn't want to. So can you, would you please? All right, so pretend that you are an egg on a leaf. Can you go fold yourself down and be an egg on a leaf? And then you are going to eat your way out of the egg and you're gonna become a caterpillar. Now you get to crawl like a caterpillar on the ground. Oh, now you're gonna do it? <laughs> okay, come over here and show them. Ready? Okay, you can crawl like a caterpillar on the ground. Okay, now you're going to eat everything you see. You're going to eat a strawberry or an apple or a leaf or a lollipop or a piece of chocolate cake. And then you're gonna be so full that you wanna go to sleep. So you're going to find, you're gonna crawl up to the top of a branch and you're gonna hang. You're gonna hang there and sleep. Go ahead, hang. Can you hang? Hang there and you're gonna sleep for about a week and a half or two weeks. Then you're gonna- oh, one week. <laughs> and then you're gonna wiggle your way out. Wiggle your way out of the, of the pupa, okay? And, <laughs> and now you're gonna be a beautiful butterfly. Okay, can you be a beautiful butterfly? Yay! <laughs> okay, so did you guys join along? <laughs> that was fun. Okay, so in your packet, you should have gotten something that looks like this. This is a butterfly. It's all in pieces. Well, you have to put it together, okay? So it's actually going to be a butterfly magnet. So you're going to need a little bit of adult help with the some of the parts. So here is your magnet part, and I went ahead and hot glue gunned your magnet on so that you wouldn't have to do that. 
So if you um, make sure that this is the top, the part that you can squeeze, that's the top, okay? Then you are going to need to get the big wings. So you have a set of big wings and a set of little wings. So you're gonna, um, actually, you need this part first. Um, so you're gonna peel the sticker off of this part of the butterfly and then stick that on the front like that, okay? You might want to leave the paper on the antennae because um, it just stays sticky. <laughs> and if you don't want it to stick, it probably won't because you're going to put it on the refrigerator and it probably won't bother anything. But yeah. are you still tired? She just woke up from her nap. I have two of my granddaughters here today. So now we're going to do the wings. So this is the little bit of a hard part. So adults, the wings are going to go just underneath the antenna there. And you're going to have to hold it in place with your finger. And you're going to put the other set of wings underneath it. It should look like this. Then you're going to take this part of the butterfly. You're going to peel off the back. And then this part is going to hold these together. So we have to we have to put that on top of that part and then it's going to hold together, okay? Like that. So it kind of acts like glue. Then you're going to have some, uh, everybody's colors are different, so your colors might be different than this one. But they're all going to be the same shapes. So if you want to peel these off, we're just going to stick these parts on the bigger part of the wings. So let me get my other one. Um, you can watch me do it now and you can go back and do yours later, but I just wanted to kind of show you how it's done. Okay, then we have that one on. And then you're gonna have two shapes that look like that. And then those are gonna go on the smaller wings. Okay, so it's going to look something like that. And then you should have a pair of eyes and a smile in there. So we're going to um, take the eyes and put them on. We'll put one there. And we'll put one there so we have it almost ready and a smile okay oh he's looking so cute or she's looking so cute is it a he or a she what do you think all right then I put three circles in each one that are gonna decorate his or her body. So I'm trying to do this quickly. We'll get that one on and I have one more and then our butterfly is going to be complete. Maybe if I can get this off. Okay. All right, what do you think? Look at that. So. Now you have this magnet butterfly and you can hang it on your refrigerator or somewhere that has, um, where you can um, put the magnet on and it will stick. Some piece of metal or steel. So, all right. Well, I hope you had a um, fun time doing our lessons today and I will see you um, next time in a day or two and we're going to do one more day of butterflies after this and then next week we're going to do ladybugs and then it will be our last day oh my goodness okay have a great day and we'll we'll talk to you soon